Welcome back to Living It Wait and to Hawaii's Kitchen here at the Servco Home and Appliance Showroom. We're in the Monogram Kitchen and we're joined now by Chef Kelly DeGala, the corporate chef of ABC Stores. And you're also involved in Duke's Lane and Basalt. Yes, yes. I was part of the team that developed uh, Duke's Lane uh, Market and Eatery. And in part of that development, we put in a food and beverage outlets, mm -hmm. uh, one of it being Basalt Restaurant. Wow. Yeah, so we have absolutely we have our own bakery there. We also have an all-day menu that's produced by our area called Spitfire, that ha that has a burger bar called Ono's Burger Bar. Wow. Yes. Well, today we're talking about scallops, and in particular Hokkaido scallops. What are we doing today? Well, we're doing a seared sea scallops, um, okay. Hokkaido sea scallops, and they're delicious. They're great. They're um, they're sashimi great. You could eat them raw. Really? Yeah, but in this case, we're going to do a nice sear. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to we have the sea scallops here. Yep. We have edamame. Okay. Butter, wasabi tobiko. We what have is wasabi tobiko? Well, it's uh, flying fish eggs, or, which is tobiko. Okay. In this case, they're seasoned with wasabi. Okay. Okay. And then we have micro shisho. We get this from Metro Grow Hawaii, the mm -hmm. local local vendor. And then we have also this is potato water. Potato water. Okay, yes, and grapeseed oil. And this is this fabulous thing called white truffle oil. Ooh. Yes, this is going to enrich everything here. Okay. But it's already a great dish because of, of course, the butter we're using. Yeah. So we have going, we're going to go ahead right into the segment. Right? Well, you have something already out here. What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. We have potato puree. Potato puree. Okay. Yes, this potato puree is Yukongo potatoes. Um, we add a mixture of butter, uh, potato water. We use the potato water is water from when we cook the potatoes. Awesome. We don't put cream, but we do put butter in there. Okay, so how do we get started? Well, we're going to have what we need when we do a sear scallop. Mm -hmm. One of the things you need is a nice hot pan. I was going to say, you guys use gas at Basalt? Yeah, we have plenty of gas there. In fact, I have a real nice kitchen there right now. Yeah. And then we're going to do this for a little round. It just gets it hotter quicker, Yes, it? yes, this is definitely going to be perfect, instantaneous here. And then the part that we have to do this, the next parts of this now is very quick. We're going okay. to have scallops. Quick season. Yes, yes, salt, salt and salt pepper. And pepper. Yes, salt and pepper. And then we have, in this case, we have four of the scallops. This is actually what dish that we serve in the, in the restaurant. And this is a variation for it where instead of, I mean, I, I usually have two, two types of uh, uh, caviars, and I call this caviar. Mm -hmm. I also use a like, kura. In this case, today, we're just going to use wasabi tobiko. So we can tell it's getting hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. And so when we come back, we're going to actually get this started in our next segment. Um, we're going to whip it all together and start cooking it on this great monogram stove. Excellent. Thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. Pleasure. I'm looking forward to it. I love scallops. Yeah. That sounds great. And all the stuff that they uh, he, that he's getting ready for it is just, you know, it's all locally sourced too. It's oh man, it was so good. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not much of a scallops eater to be honest, but the payoff is going to be good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can't wait. Coming up on Living Eat Away, as we get ready to permanently move to the 4 p.m. hour.